Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm gonna to be doing my full review of the SPK Lamia. This is an absolutely incredible knife from Alex Steingraber, and I'm really excited to get into this full review. It's not gonna be a crazy long review. We're just gonna kinda of hit the key points and talk about what makes this knife so special and why I like it so much. So we'll go ahead and get into that in just a second. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on the Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. So get that out of the way and let's talk about the Lamia. So this knife was loaned into the channel by Alex Steingraber. He is the designer and maker of this knife. And I feel really lucky. I'm, I'm very grateful, thankful to Alex for sending this in and letting me check it out. And um, there's, there's a few reasons why this knife is so special. <clears throat> but this particular knife, the one I'm holding, this version of the Lamia is extra special because this is the first Lamia that is on bearings. So the other Lamias were on washers, which I have right here. Got some Teflon washers and some phosphor bronze. Um, I prefer phosphor bronze washers, but that's just me. Anyway, um, this is the first of the bearing capable uh, Lamias. So that just means that you can use bearings if you want, or you can use washers. Both will work with the new versions of the Lamia. So these are coming soon. Um, the last pre-order, you know, kind of pre-order drop um, was washer only. And I was actually lucky enough to get in on that pre-order. So I have a washer Lamia on the way to me now, which I am super excited about. And um, sadly, I have to send this one back to Alex. The finish on this, it's just incredible. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about um, the kind of fit and finish and the, the just the small details that stand out to me about the Lumia. So first of all, it is 100% American made. And Alex is doing almost every process in-house in his machine shop in New York. I think the only things that he does not do are make his own hardware. I think these are TI connector, um, double disc grinding, and water jet. I think everything else he is doing in-house, and he posts a ton of content on Instagram. Um, so definitely check that out. Follow him at Alex Steingraber. But he's machining the titanium. Of course, he designed the knife. He's uh, machining the bevels. He's, uh, I mean, just everything. Every Everything you see on this knife, he did. He's heat treating, etc., etc. But if you check out this action, it's just ridiculous. It's super smooth. The detent is perfection. And a couple shakes, and it's shut. Now, that is exclusive to the bearing action. The washer action is going to be more of a controlled close, um, which is its own thing. If we, oh, here I got this sea otter from Monterey Bay Knives. So you see, you kind of have to close, nice controlled close shut. This is on phosphor bronze washers, but with the bearings, you have more of a drop. A little bit smoother, especially to start. Um, the bearings have actually broken in and kind of worn a track in the bearing pocket. Um, so this has gotten smoother and smoother over the last couple weeks, which I really enjoyed. But if you have a Lamia on washers or you choose to put washers in your bearing capable Lamia, uh, the washers are going to smooth out a lot. But I don't think they're going to be quite as, as droppy as as the one on bearings. Anyway, um, of course, it is a titanium frame lock. This finish with the micro milling is just incredible. Really, I just love this texture. I'm definitely a texture guy, and if the texture's off, uh, kind of weirds me out. Um, the texture feels amazing. This, I think this is an Alox blast, so a blast and tumble. Really, really nice. 
I love how the backspacer kind of sits in the scales. It doesn't sit proud and it's not perfectly aligned. I like that a lot. Really super simple construction. Backspacer, body screw, pivot, clean. Uh, there's no screw on the clip that is mounted from the inside. Just a really clean design. Um, the blade steel is Crewwear. You can see the CW right there. He's done a few different blade steels for the Lamias. Um, I have really enjoyed the crew wear. I think, I think I had one other knife in crew wear, um, but I've really enjoyed the crew wear on this guy. It's gotten smoother and smoother. I just put a drop of um, KPL on the uh, on the um, detent ball, detent track. Super smooth. Action, detent, incredible, perfect for a middle finger flick. Um, for me, a big test for the opening hole is to see if I can flick it with my thumb or if I kind of get caught up or not. Perfect. So the action is phenomenal. Ergos, just super comfortable. I mean, this is just a really comfortable titanium frame lock um, designed and made 100% in the U.S. by one guy. And that's, I mean... You know, as a knife designer and enthusiast, that's kind of that's kind of the dream. I mean, to 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 have your your CNC machine to be to be building and making knives and creating these from hand from scratch in the U.S. That's that's where it's at. So um, definitely huge props to Alex for for making it happen. Um, again, man, I wish I could buy this one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't need to, because I do have um, my, uh, hold on one second, I have to adjust this. Aha. Because um, I do have my my pre-ordered one that I got super lucky on, because those things, I think there were like 40 or 50 of them available, and I was just quick, quick on the draw. So I do have one of those coming. I guess I don't need two, but. I think the finish is different on the one that is coming to me. Uh, that should be here in the next day or two. Oh, man. Really, really cool knife, simple construction. Um, and these little details are just A+. plus. So let's do a little quick size comparison. I'll get the, uh, the PM2 out. There are, you know, some similarities here. And then what else? I'm going to go ahead and get another... knife let's do yeah should we do four sure why not get the monterey bay knives sea otter so as you can see i would consider this a eh, consider a medium sized knife pm2 large we'll get that out of the way and i get the demco out of the way and let's compare these two american made knives that are on the washers They both have that kind of blast and tumble finish, although it's a little bit darker on the Sea Otter, both titanium frame locks. And of course the Lumia is larger. I'd consider this a small knife, this a medium knife for my hand at least. All right, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And let's get back to the Lumia. So I'm not gonna go on and on about it. It is an incredible knife. Huge shout out to Alex for loaning this to the channel. It is, it's a knife that, um, I'm trying to think of a good way of putting this. It's a knife that if there were a bunch of different available variations, I would want, I would want multiple variations. I would want a liner lock Lamia. I would want one on washers. I'd want one on bearings. I'd want one blasted and tumbled and milled. And you just want a collection of these kind of like people do with the PM2. Now, of course, um, Pricing the on the secondary, these are going for like crazy thousand dollar plus. Um, straight from Alex, which again, super hard to get, uh, but straight from Alex, these are in the six seven hundred dollar range, um, right around there, maybe six fifty seven fifty. So, you know, if you if you if you have to have one of these, then of course, sure, pay your twelve hundred on the secondary. 
uh, or just keep, keep, you know, stay on it. Keep entering the lottos. Follow Alex on Instagram. Um, he's extremely knowledgeable and uh, has helped me out a ton. So again, shout out to him and be sure to follow him on Instagram. And um, hopefully another drop of these are coming soon. And hopefully it is the bearing capable ones with the washers um, or the washer option. So again, here we have the SPK Lamia from Alex Steingraber. And um, I'm just super impressed with this. This is, you know, right now, if, you know, this was December, this is the knife of the year for me. So really incredible, incredible piece. And I am super excited to have it in hand. Unfortunately, I do have to send it back, but uh, I'll be doing another video once I get my Lamia. So keep an eye out for that. And just check out this carry. I mean, come on. Whew. That's it, baby. That is the carry. That's the carry for today. All right. This has been Knife Standards. I will catch you guys later.